Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you a first look at the um, the 3.0 software for the iPhone slash iPod Touch. Um, I'm using an iPhone right now, or an uh, iTouch, sorry. Uh, I'm just going to show you the uh, main features. Uh, what you have to do, I'll, I'll have a link in the description for the actual tutorial. It's on this uh, Alex Osh1234, his channel. And it um, should be his latest video, but he shows you a tutorial. Um, so I, got, I give him credit for that. Um, so you're gonna have to like do all that. It's gonna take a while. You're gonna have to resync everything, but don't worry. Like you just sync everything before you actually restore it. But uh, just watch the video. Um, I only I only installed the apps back. I didn't put my music and videos back, but I will do that later. But uh, it'll so what you'll notice uh, if you go back one page, it'll go to search or spotlight, and you can search anything in there. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, you can search apps, uh, people, uh, mail stuff, calendar, or anything that's in there. And I'll have the uh, system tray thing down here. Um, so that's the search light. You can search anything. Um, there's also voice memos popped up. And you can record if you have a mic hooked up. But there is also a big feature right there, Bluetooth on the i on the uh, i touch now so uh you just go over to settings and you can um uh well I'll just show you 3.0 right there just to show some proof um bluetooth right down there um bluetooth is on right there and it'll search for the devices I don't have any near right now I got to get one um you can uh, do just all kind of settings. You can mess with that. Um, there's also a store one now. Whoops, sorry. There's also a store settings now where you can view your account and see all that, all the your uh, credit and all that. Um, you can view a lot of things in landscape now. So uh, if you want to go to mail, yeah. So you can view the mail in landscape. I like that. It's pretty great. And then you can uh, search your inbox as well. You can view your accounts and all that. Um, so a lot of the uh, apps that are built into the iPod are the ones that got updated. And they're pretty good updates. Um, iTunes, I haven't seen that one yet. I'll see. There's probably something different with it. Um, on the App Store, you can also redeem from the App Store. You don't have to go to iTunes or anything. You can redeem from the app store and then just get your apps um, yeah so I don't uh, uh, looks like oh you can get videos now from the iTunes store so that's that's pretty good um, uh, let's see downloads redeem audiobooks for the more section um, notes when you're typing um, I'm just typing random stuff here but you can do that and then you just shake And you can undo the typing. Sorry about that drastic shaking. Um, uh, let's see. Calculator unchanged. Maps. This is really cool right here. Um, uh, let's see. You just go down here. Um, actually, you might have to... Uh, using my current location here. You know how this little bead now won't have the crosshairs. So then you can do this. You click on it. And you can go like that. And you can see this uh, like like you're looking around. So it's really cool. So if you don't know if the place, what it looks like, you can see like that. So that's, that's really cool. And I'll have this little icon down there. But you just click it again. And there you go. So that's the maps. Um, also on the maps, um, you can route a direction, um, uh, route it, and it can tell you if you're in a car, if there's any bus routes nearby, or if you walk. Walk will take five minutes, this will take one minute if you drive. Um, so yeah, you can do that. Um, 
let's see so here's the uh, cut and paste feature uh, what you do is you go into any text you double tap and hold and then you just drag until you want and it'll have like a magnifier down there um, and then you can copy and then you you can um, compose a new one you can go down here and you can paste you just double tap again and so there you go there's a cut and paste um, and you can don't save uh, also in Safari um, there's not really uh, anything different um, besides like the cut and paste thing there's also when you type things there's an autofill feature uh, it's not going to show it there but uh, if you start writing something it'll autofill so you just I don't know where you type it in before but maybe it's just past typing so uh... oh YouTube that's the other one um, in here now you can go to more you can sign in to your YouTube accounts um, and you can view subscriptions and all that and you can change the icons down here so you don't have to have theirs you can go to my videos search favorite subscriptions uh, you can go to my videos and there's our videos right there um, you can sign out and you can go on search favorites subscriptions and all that and then you can you know change them like that so you can drag them all where you want to your liking so um, those are the uh, ones that I found out contacts I don't think anything's different there you can view it in landscape as well the app store you can, like I said you can redeem from the app store and that's pretty much all that's changed um, so from the more section you can redeem uh, I think that's that's all that's changed um, in photos you can uh, you just go in your albums I haven't synced any pictures except for my saved photos so you can also um, click on these and you can click the ones that you want and you can share them copy them or delete them so you don't have to in go individually delete them so that's big time saver right there so um, these are the ones that I found out so far uh, if you found some that are not posted in this video you can comment on uh, below so uh, yeah it's iPhone 3.0 first look um, like I said go to Alex Osh 123 uh, four, one, two, three, four. Sorry, uh, channel, and I'll have a link in the description for the video, and that's the tutorial. So uh, thanks, thanks to him. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment. Thanks and bye.